YouTube is full of videos about good knives. It's full of videos about bad knives. It's high time that someone makes a video about weird knives. This is Three, Three Weird, weird knives. knives, and I'm your host, JJ Jakes. Let's get weird. And now for this episode, we're going to start off with a Z Hunter knife. There's a lot going on here, so we'll just have to go piece by piece. Starting on this side, we have a chromed out looking uh, zombie head. Just to remind you what your target's supposed to look like. I guess um, maybe it's like a, one of those Mad Max people um, from the latest one where they spray paint their mouth before they die. Except maybe the whole can exploded on their face and now they're a zombie. So I'd like to think that this knife is a, a cannon in the Mad Max universe. And then on the scale, we have a couple of canisters, one blue and one green, like the ooze in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I said that weird. Whatever. And at the very end, we have these um, spinny spur things that have a biohazard symbol, just to remind you that these things are biohazardous. It also allows you to grip them and spin the blade around in your hand, like this. Ah, the blade itself, which is open-assisted with this little tab, shows a Tanto blade uh, with a green splattering on it. And you get the Biohazard Z Hunter logo. There's a generous sharpening choil and a, one of those Rambo sawback things on the back. A little bit of jimping here. It is um, quite noisy to handle because of the spurs. Um, not too comfortable in the hand, but I, I like the accessories, the accessorizing that went on with this knife. Uh, made it just weird enough for me to want to show it on this video. Up next we have something in a gray box with a part number on it. It's a Batman knife. <laughs> ah silvery colored Batman and uh, you got a couple of flipper tabs up at the top here this is a double bladed battering sort of deal Oop. I almost just ended my life right there got a kind of odd looking pocket clip it's sort of a dog leg shape hmm weird but so yeah you can carry this in your pocket but you're gonna have this part poke it out now, the blades themselves are kind of interesting. They have these sort of compound grinds. So you have kind of a recurve, which ends in a sort of clip point. I do like how they, they started with the whole thing black so that the ground out parts have a metallic look and it sort of has a unique look to it. Very polygonal. And they are really, really sharp at the tip. Um, Kind of sharp, eh, rough. Sharp, but rough uh, at the rest of the blade. Good luck sharpening something as curvy as that. <laughs> but let's be honest, this isn't for everyday use. It's only for use at night. And last but not least, we have this little guy from Rough Rider, the Boot Scooter. Interesting choice of colors. It kind of looks like the... Uh, Transgender pride flag. <laughs> and here is the knife. What we have is a boot made from fake uh, turquoise looking things with a similarly patterned red piece with uh, an oval here. Now, the way this blade opens is pretty unique. You take the heel of the boot and you pull it out and it opens. Now the heel of the boot is just a piece of plastic that's glued on. This one already fell off. And it's fun because you can open and close it as fast as you can go. Just make sure that you're not holding it like this because <laughs> it will come down onto your thumb, which is okay because the blade is really dull. 
boot scooter. I like the uh, little desert scape they have on the blade there with that rider. I guess that's the rough rider. Hmm. And you could also close it without even using the boot, but it's uh, more fun to do it the way that it's supposed to be done. So I guess the mechanism is, um, I imagine there's like a couple of gears toothed, teethed, uh, interfaced. And uh, by pulling this down, you're simply doing a simple mechanism to open the blade. The blade's stubby with a weird kind of cut out at the swedge. And uh, it's already got some gunk on it, so that's a neat feature. So I guess a little bit of a theme here. We got the cowboy, the superhero, and the zombie hunter. These are all archetypes of a lot of... Uh, Major motion pictures. Hello, I'm a boot scooter.